So that baby barn has been there since we built the house, way too long of course, about 10 years now. And it's kind of an eyesore where it's at, so what I did was, well, a second here. There's a couple of loads of shale right there that's to dress the driveway down afterwards because I'm going to regrade that. I was going to dig up some big rocks and that shale will cover it just nicely. So what we did was, today, this morning, we got uh, another five loads put in the hole at the back to add to what we had last year. So that pad right there, that's going to be where the baby barn is going to sit. They're going to drag it down with the tractor. Hopefully that'll go smooth. I'm going to take the baby barn and uh, bolt a couple of 4x4s underneath it with angle cuts on them so it won't dig in too hard. Uh, a couple of pieces of 2 8 across the back and the front and lag bolt everything all together. And then uh, hook the tractor up with a couple of straps and see how I make it with that. So I'll drag it down almost in place and then of course I'll, what I'll have to do then is uh, unhook the tractor and kind of push it where I want it. When I get it there, I'm going to raise it up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to leave the 4x4s on it. I figure it's good, uh, good distance underneath it so the animals don't try to make a home. If it's uh, too close to the ground, the uh, skunks and porcupines and whatnot get in there. And anything else, rabbits, and I don't want that. Anyway, what we'll do is put some 2-foot-by-2-foot uh, two, two foot two foot patio blocks, three down each side, just to hold it up so it doesn't sag. This is all filled in. I do have to regrade it though. It's all it's quite high on the back side there. You can't really see it in the video, but it's gotta be uh it's gotta be leveled out somewhat. And I'm sure it's gonna settle some, so I'll just what I'll do is uh if it settles a bit I'll next year I'll just take a uh, lift the baby barn and put a bit more onto the the patio box. Anyway. So there's one more load to come. There's two there and there's gonna be another one right there on the grass. And that'll give me three loads. Because I am going to Regrade that whole driveway. I needed to tip a little bit uh, from where we're looking here. I needed to tip a bit to the right to make the water run away from the house a little better and and more not run down into the backyard quite so bad in the springtime. Anyway, it's coming. And of course, in the woods and behind the tractor, of course, I'm going to knock down a bunch more trees there. And there's a double garage going in there and uh, a shop in the next couple of years I'm guessing I think the garage will, will go up next year and the shop probably maybe the same year or the year after something like that anyway I'll have a little woodworking shop in there that'll be good anyway that's uh tractor time for today I guess and of course there'll be some other videos right along with this of the uh, me moving a bit of shale around for anybody who's interested kind of fun stuff to watch all right thanks for watching a little bit of an addendum to the uh the other video with the shed the reason why it's sitting there is because when we moved here and built the house, I needed a baby barn for the boys that uh, were working on the house, uh, that were doing the framing to put their gear in. And I had the baby barn, I just built it in uh, in uh, St. John, I don't know, maybe three or four years before that. So, And I figured, well, if I build a new one, it's 8 by 12, 8 feet walls, 8 foot walls, excuse me. If I build a new one, it's going to be a couple of grand. And it cost me about six fifty to move it here on a low boy flatbed trailer. So what we did was we paid the six fifty. And that was the cheapest out, and that gave me almost a brand new baby barn still, instead of leaving it behind with the other house. So, that's why it's sitting crookedly part way down my driveway. That was the only place to set it when we first got here. There wasn't any cleared land hardly at all, just where the house is sitting. There was no backyard, no anything. So, anyway, and it just never got moved afterwards. So, but, this summer's the summer. We'll get that out of there. Maybe get a bit of grading done on that side of the driveway, reseeded. A little easier on the, on the ride-on mower. It's pretty humpity-bumpity right now. But, anyway, all in good time, it's coming.
after a few false starts a couple of weekends ago, finally got the baby barn moved. Well, it's not a baby barn, I guess it's a shed. 8 feet by 12 feet, 8 foot walls, gable roof, and a wood rack in the top. So it's fairly heavy. The wood's out of it, but it's still fairly heavy. We started here. Once we got the tracker under it, and went all the way down here. I don't know how far that is. I'm going to measure it. I'm guessing it's a good uh, 75 to 100 feet. The tractor didn't seem to have any problem hauling it. I got some 4x4 skids under it. Bolted on with 2x8s, lag bolts. And uh, just put the tractor in low, four wheel drive, and strapped up the baby barn, or the shed, excuse me, and uh, drug it over. I guess I gotta change the sign for the house up front again. So, anyway, I just gotta push it back. Probably another, you know, like I think I can haul it another few feet with the tractor, just tighten up on the belt a bit. The strap, excuse me, and then I'll uh, get the tractor out of here, put it on the other end, and push gently. Hopefully, it doesn't dig in too bad, but push gently until I get her back into place, probably with 12 feet. See what happens. If it starts to dig in, I'll have to lift it up and put a few skids underneath it for it to run on. We'll see. Anyway, didn't dig up the driveway too bad, that was good. It's a pretty good distance. I was hoping the old girl could haul it, no problem, and I didn't have to put any weight in the bucket. I was gonna. I was going to grab a load of crushed shale over there just to make me a little heavier, but no spinning, no nothing. It was good. G33H. 3033H, excuse me. Alright, she gets it done. It's 2014, still in real good shape. I haven't got a lot of hours on it. I think it's just shy of 300 hours. But, uh, anyway. We should. Really glad to have that done before the winter. Bit of an eyesore where it was. Now I can uh, set it up on some blocks down here, get some siding on it, make it look like the house a little bit. That'd be okay. Okay. And that is that.